I'm going to show you how to make this really cool crocheted heart. You can actually use this heart and turn it into a little pendant or earrings, or you can use it for scrapbooking as well. So this is a pretty simple project to start with. We're going to need 28 gauge artistic wire. It's red. And you have a choice of what size of hooks you want to use. This one's quite small. It's 2.35 millimeters. And um, it says US 1, 2 for the size. And then this bigger one is uh, 6 slash 6 and it's 4.25 millimeters. So for demo purposes I'll use the bigger one because it's easier to use. You'll get a looser stitch with the bigger one and if you want a tighter crochet you could use the littler one. So what I do is I don't pre-cut the wire because it's really hard to know how much you're going to need and I'll just uh, leave a bit of an end on the wire about five inches and you want to do a little loop so we're going to make a loop like that and put this underneath the loop and pull that little wire through with the hook so this makes our first little chain stitch so we're going to hold it like that and then what I'm going to do is I don't really think about double crochet single crochet I just kind of free form it so what I want to do first is the most important thing to know how to do is a little chain stitch. So really for the chain stitch you have your hook through the loop and then you pull this through like that. So that creates a little chain stitch. And then what I want to do is I'm going to start at the bottom and add stitches as I go up because the idea is we're going to make a kind of a triangle and then we're going to shape it afterwards. So what I'm going to do first is just put this into, again, into the first loop and then pull this wire through and then we have a couple of stitches on there. Okay, and then I'm going to do one more. So I'm going to go through there and pull this through and then we'll pull it through. So we have two stitches on there and now we're going to just add another chain stitch so we're going to just pull actually this chain three of these two loops like that. So we pulled it through so now we have one loop on there and then we're just going to go back into there and go like that do another stitch type of thing and you're going to see we have a couple of a couple of loops going there and now we're going to flip it over and do a chain stitch like that and now we have a couple of loops that we could go back into so we're going to put it in the first loop like that. Be careful just to go only get the wire one wire in there. So we do that and then we pull this wire through it and then we're going to go into the next one. So we'll go in there. It's a little tricky with the big needle if you pull the wires too tight, so try not to pull the wire too tight if you're using a big needle. So then we're going to pull that through once, and then we have to pull it through the two wires. Okay, so we've done that, and now we have to add a chain stitch. So we're going to add a chain because we want each row to be bigger. Flip it over, and then we're going to go back into our stitches. So we'll go into there one and then pull the wire through and we'll go into a second one. You might have to kind of spread these a bit if they're getting tight and it's not really that important if you don't go in the exact right place. 
you just basically want to keep going back and forth in rows to make a triangle. So that's the second one, and then we want to go into a third one. So you can just pull this out to make it more accessible. And then we're going to do that. And then same as before, we're going to add a stitch, flip it over, and then go back into those. So each time you go back and forth, you're going to have a wider line. So we'll do one more row. We'll just do this, start with the uh, chain stitch. And then we're going to go back across our stitches. And then it's going to be big enough to form the heart. So you can eyeball it. You can just see how big you want to make it. For sure, if you're making earrings and a pendant, you would want to use the smaller needle and uh, do it a little bit more tightly so it'll hold its shape. Uh, to make an earring, you can just uh, put the earring hook right into one of the loops of the wire, or you can put a jump ring on it just to uh, attach it in the right place. So we're just going to figure out where we need our thing to finish. So it's just about there. So that's, it's pretty well done like that. And so we're going to get our cutters. And I always cut it a little bit too long. So we'll cut it there. And then we'll just pull our, our wire through it. So now we have this triangle shape and I will just form it. So to form it, you, you kind of pull and squeeze. You could pinch this end in to be more pointy. You could pull these out to make them a little more round. And this side too, you might want to just twist the wire through so it closes up the gap there. And then you can play around with these shapes. So we'll round each corner. We're going to round the corner. And then we want to actually pinch it in the middle to make the heart. So easy peasy. We'll just pinch it in like that. And we have the shape of a heart. So this one is big, so I'm actually going to attach it to one of my watercolor paintings. So here's one of my paintings that I did. And so basically I'll just superimpose it where I want it to be. And I'm going to get a little pin. And I'll just pin, let me put it up here a little bit. Do one little pinhole there. And one little pinhole at that end. Okay, and we're going to put the wires into the pinhole just to hold it in place. This is the easiest way to attach it if you're doing, if you're making a card or you're doing scrapbooking. Okay. So we attach it in there, flip it over, and we'll just twist the ends around a little bit so they hold in place. And then the longer wire will bring back up to the other side of the heart so it secures it in place. So I'll do another little hole up here where it looks good. And then we'll poke the wire back through, and it comes right through in that spot. And then you can go actually go back through the hole to secure it in place. And so we make sure that's pushed down. We're, we've gone back through the hole. We'll pull it tight. And then we can just push these ends down. You could trim them. And you have that already if you want to glue it onto a plain greeting card or if you want to put it in a frame, uh, that would be beautiful.